I'm Luke. I'm Nick. And I'm Melanie. And, and we're the, the Dungeon Gaze and Mel's Diner. And Mel's Diner. Yeah. Look at how festive she is. I am. I was so excited to go we're shopping today. Yes. Look, at, look at how weird we look. Wow. It's very interesting when we start the show because it then starts up on our screen here. We don't want it to go because it's very distracting. It's so distracting it when you see yourself. Yeah. Eventually you get you, oh, look at Mel's face. Mm. And I'm like, oh, <laughs> oh, I wish I could get a screenshot of this. I'm taking a picture because it's funny. <laughs> Hi, everyone. Hi. How are you guys doing? I hope you guys are having a good Sunday. We're exhausted. We're exhausted. That's why tonight, Melanie will be cooking And for we're going to go sit on the couch. Bye, Bye. everybody. Bye. Have a great night. Bye, guys. <laughs> I'll serve you dinner when it's all ready. Okay. Yeah. Do you think we could shut up? Yeah. Talk all the time. Do you think we could actually go to Never, the couch? Never. Not for two minutes. I bet yeah. you if you sat over there on the um, couch, I bet you like 30 seconds, you'd be talking. Yeah. You'd be talking. Yeah. So you'd I'm be gonna... talking across the room. So for anyone um. watching on Facebook or YouTube or Instagram, come to YouTube. Because this is the angle we're actually going into. That's right the now. picture that we froze on on YouTube. That's what we look like. <laughs> Okay, so let's start cooking. Oh, let's so start. Doing? Okay, so um, just to let you know, um, if you don't know me, um, my name is Melanie, and uh, I am a WW Lifetime member, and I am a former 17-year employee of WW, but still very, very active in the WW community. And this week, actually, this is my third week on Purple. Purple! purple. purple. Tonight, but anyway, but you know, what? I still want to do this too. Blue, green, doesn't matter what plan you're yeah, on. Exactly. No, it doesn't matter. So we just love purple because it works for us. It works for us. So yeah. I did two weeks on green, and it and it worked. I lost five point something pounds on That's green. Amazing. That's awesome. And now I'm on purple, and this is my. And I lost for my first two weeks on purple. I lost as well. I think I'm down. Since this whole my WW started, I'm down like 7.9 pounds. Uh, yeah, that's amazing. And I decided to keep on purple for now because it works. I, I thought, for you. well, I thought the holidays too, right? That yeah. So I basically sat down after my weigh-in last Wednesday, and just to a uh, shout out to WW Danforth, I've been going to their workshops, and Kelly, you are amazing. If you're watching, I love you. You're amazing. <laughs> you're inspiring, and I can't wait to see you this week. Um, Someone's saying they can't add Yeah, but that's one. just hers, oh, so okay. she needs to okay. you need to figure out what she may need okay. to refresh or something. Yeah. Because everybody else is having you know, having no mm -hmm. issues, so I think we're good. So after my weigh-in on, on Wednesday, I said, you know what, what am I gonna do? So let me think about my next two weeks, what's going on in my life. And so what program is going to work best for me? And I think at this point right now it's gonna remain purple for now. I may go back to green after my vacation. Well, uh, guess what? Yeah. We even considered a possibly trying green at one point. Yeah. <gasps> we should. did. We did. You know, we you should. should try every plan. I think it's important. We it don't do works because that's what did this. Yeah. And purple has been working for us. Yeah. If you think about it, purple, we've been doing it for a while now and we've not gained. Nope. We've actually lost. We've actually lost. Because I was actually gained. higher. And so we've been able to. Yeah. So even though we're not as. I weighed we... myself last week after the weekend of. Chinese food twice and pizza yeah. and, night and this and that. And I went up to 190. I went up to 194 pounds, people. Uh oh. Yeah, I was. Just 20 point. pounds over goal for him. 20 pounds over goal. People were like, "You gained 20 pounds." I'm like, "Oh, you might not have seen it, but I felt it. I was, I've been wearing this." He's every day. He's like, "My pants don't fit. My pants don't fit. <laughs> they still don't fit." Yeah. And I've been. I was up to a bit, but I've also gone back down as well. So. So purple's working for us, yes. especially this time of year. Like yep. saying, yeah, it's yeah. just it's okay. Let's cooking. get started. Yes. Okay, so just Shut to let you know, I it. know, quiet guys. I want to cook. Um, so I just to let you know, I do work. have a Facebook page, yes, and actually Instagram page is coming this week. Yay! And I'm very excited, and um, it's called Mel's Diner. Feed your body and mind. So we talk about food, we talk about mindset, we talk about activity. So it's all encompassing. And it is a closed group, so please feel free to find me. Please, and, and, and uh, I do want to say something because we are part of this group, and she's actually inspired some of our recipes. So, like the berry crumble was inspired by oh, yeah, you, good. Yeah. and so the, so it's a sharing thing here. We Absolutely. love having everybody be able to share their yeah. own skills, their own things that they and do. And not only that, we're cool with you taking somebody else. At least us, we love when people take our recipe and make yeah. it their own. Like what yeah. you showed us with the... Because that's the important. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. With the kids crumble, yes. Yeah. Love that. Okay, so let's get started. Yay! Because um, I have to get things going here so we can start cooking because they're hungry. Starving. And they want to eat. Yes. Now. 
now. After our live show, I have to feed them. So Quickly. To cook, or else they're gonna not have anything to eat Faint. tonight, and they're gonna start <laughs> gnawing on each other. I already Anyways. have. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so the first thing we're gonna be making is a. Um, the recipe is actually an instant pot recipe, but you can make it in the slow cooker. You can make it on the stove. It doesn't matter where you make it. Um, the instant pot does it a lot quicker. Um, which is great. So it's called a chicken taco soup, but technically it really isn't a soup. It's more like a chili. chili. And it's very versatile. As I'm going to show you, you can use it in many ways. So let's get started. Um, so sorry, while you yes, do this, yes. so people ask me a link oh. to your site, so I will go get it and share it. And yes, you can go and go. I'll be over here. Awesome. And I'm going yeah. to be just standing here watching because I love this. Yeah. Okay. So I'll be back. Okay, so I did a little prep before just to make things go quicker because um, we got to get this instant pot uh, chicken taco soup, which actually only cooks for, once it, it's um, pressurized, the instant pot, it only cooks for eight minutes, which is absolutely crazy. I'll go get you a chart. Yeah, that's great. Thank you. Um, so anyways, we're going to start off, and uh, I chopped up a small onion. Now, again, take any of these recipes and make it your own. If you don't like onions, don't put onions in. If you don't like spice, don't put spice in. So these are your recipes. You can make them any way you want. You can change them up. Wow, are you saying people can change recipes? It's funny though, because I think yeah. a lot of us forget that we can do that. Oh my right? gosh, did you know that if, if you're following WW and you find recipes on the WW app, you could go into recipes that are already printed by WW and edit them to make them your own as well, which is That's amazing. Awesome. Yeah. yeah, so that way yeah. when you go back to it, you don't have to remember what you did or rewrite it. Exactly. Yeah, that makes okay, a lot so of the sense. first thing we're taking is one small onion. I chopped it up and I'm just gonna throw that. It, actually, you know what? I'm gonna bring this instant bring pot right over here and I'm just gonna throw in oh, the Oh, that onion smells divine. It's just like, woo! Yeah, I just bought it today. That okay. smells so Next good. Next thing I'm going to put in is a can of black beans. So I drained them and rinsed them. When you, when you, when you guys, um, when you rinse off, make sure when you use beans, you always rinse them off. When you rinse them, you're gonna see all this bubble stuff. It's all gonna bubble and froth. That's all the stuff that's gassy. Oh. So if you rinse it off. Beans, beans, and you look like a fruit. The more you eat, the more you toot. Oh my gosh, and I know that song, but it, with different words. Oh, really? You don't know that? No. Oh, beans, beans, they're good for your heart. The more you, you eat, the, the more, more you fart. Yes. Oh, no, 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 no. oh my gosh, I learned something new. I okay. feel deprived. <laughs> so yeah, rinse off your black, uh, any of your beans. If you're using chickpeas, whatever you're using, always rinse them off so you don't see any of that frothy, good to know. Uh, frothy bubble stuff. So yes, I'm just going to throw these in. Very simple. And then I'm going to take, take for you. a can of kidney, oops, kidney beans. I rinse those ones as well. Just throw those in. Um, next thing, tomato sauce. Use any tomato sauce you want. Don't use a pasta sauce. Don't use a marinara sauce. Use a tomato sauce. Um, I made some of this at home today, so I had one can. I opened it up, and I used half at home, and I brought the other half here. I was like, that can is so clean. I, <laughs> I didn't realize it was an empty can. That yes, so but I measured out eight ounces, um, which is a cup of the tomato sauce, so I'm going to throw that in as well. There's a mini spatula in there if you want. Oh, yeah, I'll do that for you. Okay, perfect. Yeah. We'll be your assistants. Now! What would a what would a dish and what would dinner for John Luke and Nick be if there wasn't corn? Corn, exactly. Corn. You know corn is. I love corn. I know, and you know what? We corn have three is... packs in our fridge. <laughs> oh, I bought a two. I should have only bought one. Yes. Oh, sorry. And we all know that corn is zero points on purple and blue. Yep. Yes. Okay, so I'm gonna put in some corn now. The recipe calls for. Um, and I'm, we're going to post these recipes after yeah, on the yeah, page. Yeah, completely. It calls for 10 I'm ounces. I'm sure Kim Abbey up right now is typing All away. Right. And corn, typing away. Corn, corn, corn. So I'm just going to throw you, in. Thank you, Kim. I'm going to throw in the corn. Um, now, um, this is a can of diced tomatoes with chili seasoning. Love it. Chili. Now, I know John Luke and Nick like spice. Spice, spice, spice. But if you don't like it spicy, then just put in diced tomatoes. It doesn't matter. Whatever you want works for you, right? So that's it. Done with that. Very easy. Okay? Easy peasy so far. Then we're going to take... We're going to take a package of taco seasoning. I can totally see how when you were saying that it's supposed to be a soup, but all the ingredients that you're putting in are so hearty and yeah, thick that, of exactly. course, it's not going to be soup-like. It's going to be yeah. more chili-like. Did I mention that this entire dish... Uh, let me guess. Zero points? Yes! 
on zero points on green and blue. Green? Yes. No, purple and blue. Sorry, green and purple. Purple and blue. Purple and blue. Because green and corn counts, right? Yes. Right. Purple yes, and blue. Right. Sorry, purple and blue. Purple Zero points. So taco seasoning. Okay. Then I am going to take a little bit of cumin and a little bit, one teaspoon of cumin and one teaspoon of chili powder. Okay, again, Rosie and Kim, this is for you. I'm just going to say RuPaul's Drag Race. Yes. <laughs> I'm going to say, um, what other clues can I give? RuPaul's Drag Race. Wah, wah. Womp womp, and it's usually womp womp. It's a drag queen. And what's the other thing that she, uh, what show was it? It's on the, the episode is called. Snatch Game. Yes, yeah, Snatch, Snatch Game. Snatch Game. Yes, yeah. Okay, I was like, what are you talking Human. about? Human. Yeah. <laughs> yes, now, Rosie wrote it. Human. <laughs> yes, so this Jocelyn recipe. Jocelyn Fox, yes. This recipe no. actually calls for one teaspoon of chili powder, but you guys like it hot, so I put in a little extra. Yeah! Just a little bit extra. We like it this lot. actually sounds like a football type. Yeah. Yeah. You know what I mean? Like you're watching the Super Bowl, you yeah, know what I mean? I love that idea. I've been making this, and if my husband is watching, Michael, oh. he had this for dinner tonight and absolutely no. loved it. Mm. And um, it lasts, like, it lasts. Like, you can actually make it and put it in the fridge for the week. You can take it for lunch. Yeah, put it on top you can of a take salad. It, take it on top of a salad. You're going to see after. I'm going to make no. nachos with this. It's going to be amazing. Okay, so I have all this in here. Um, two more ingredients. I'm gonna put in half a cup of water. Ah. That's it. That's it. That's the whole recipe. Yeah, there's not much liquid in there, no. but I know always thinking no. all these vegetables and everything else that you're putting in do end up extracting liquids themselves, okay. like water. And then the last thing I'm gonna add is chicken. Is two chicken breasts. Oh. That's it. Two you're putting chicken breasts. Oh, oh, full chicken breast. Wait, just you wait and see, darling. I'm perplexed. Yes, um, let's get a fork. Yeah, it's right in right here. Okay. Do you not love our, like, drawers? <laughs> that doesn't <laughs> sound <know>. right. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. That was actually really cute. Uh, I like that. Yes, I love your drawers. They're like pull out drawers. Okay, so I'm taking two chicken breasts and I'm just going to put them on. chicken breasts in there. Yeah, just wait. Um, just you wait oh, and see. I, 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 you're I having see. ideas, don't yeah, you? Yeah, totally. Yeah, well, I'm not telling you. Yeah, I think so. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, so this is it. It's all ready to go. If you can see I'll that. I'll bring right it closer. There. Oh, okay, perfect. I'll bring it closer. All ready to go. Don't drop the breasts don't of chicken. Don't drop the of chicken. Okay. Show them over there. Show them Hi, there. everybody. Let me just put this over here. Apparently, the chicken breasts have to be inside. Hi, here as well. They can't be touching each there other. There you go. Okay, and I'm gonna go put this in. In spot. And I can't lie, Mel. I think yeah. we need more wine. <laughs> That's a great idea. I am having a glass of wine. It is the holiday season. It's okay. the holiday season, yeah. and we have it's been. It's the away. holiday season. Whoop de doo. You know that song? I don't. <laughs> la la la. I know. It's the holiday, holiday season. You know what's really weird, though, Mel. You have to understand. Growing up in a French Canadian yeah, family, we too. sang a lot of French Canadian songs. Yeah. I don't even think you know half the ones. I know more than you do. Mm, but no, okay. the old, old, old ones, and some of the ones that me and your mom sing that you're like, I no, know that's not like Christmas songs. Some of them are. Oh no, I guess Christmas right. songs. Right, right, right. I know the Christmas ones. Uh, so while we're getting this ready, yes. we'll get we'll start running you guys through some of our activities this week because yeah. you know we always give you guys updates of what's been going on in our lives. So uh, on Monday, we had the Epicure from Laura. We actually got our package. You guys, we released a video yesterday. You on know how hard it was not to open that package yes. that day? Because we had counter. promised her that we were not going to open it till the day we called and did the video. Because that video was done 100% truthful. We had not seen anything in that box. Yeah, so we, uh, we, we uh, I left the box on the counter. We filmed with her on Tuesday, it was, right? We filmed with her and then we released a video yesterday. So you haven't seen it yet, it's on uh, YouTube. We haven't shared it on Facebook or Instagram yet, but we will in a bit. Or connect, so we'll do that in a bit uh, once we have the time. Um, so that's what we did on Monday. Plus, we went back to the gym. Seven days in a row. Seven days well, in a row. No, no, no. We've done activity seven to days. accomplish our ring seven days in a row. Yes. And I have to say, after seeing Paula's challenge, 20 workouts till 2020, is that what it is? Yeah, yeah. yeah. 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20 till 2020. 20, 20, 20, 20, yeah. 20 workouts till 2020. I am now, today was day seven. And I have to tell you, 
I didn't work out this afternoon till 4.30, which is so not like me, but you know what? I'm in that momentum. And it and, works. And it works. Yeah, well, because you have it on the back of your mind I saying, I have to accomplish this. Yes, I set myself up a challenge and yeah. I'm going to follow it through. And that's how, yeah. that, a lot of it is just that, you know? I'm just letting you know I'm now proud of some bottle of wine. I had some, and then now this yeah. is a, 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 a nice gift from Mel. And then this week we were really busy at work. Um, I actually ran an event at work this week, so I had to run an event for 300 people um, for a festive uh, festive lunch that I had to run with different shifts and stuff like that. So I was really busy this week. Jolly is also very busy at work. Yep. It's, so, it's tis the season, right? So, All of us are busy. That's what we really yeah. emphasize on that. Everybody's yeah. life is very busy at this time. Of year, yeah. Um, so keep that in mind. Keep that in mind when you're you're making <laughs> choices. Then. And so, and then we had to broke the cord. Yes. And we had we took Friday off. We actually flew to uh, New York, as you guys have been seeing across all our social media. It was so much fun. We yeah. went with our best friends, Rob and Steve, and, and our, our, our other friends, Georgia. Yeah, and Georgia Sarah, and Sarah, Sarah and Crystal and Janine. And, and yeah. what was really cool about this, though, is Crystal, Janine, and Rob and Sarah, they've known each other for years. Yes. And we're like... The add-ons. We've only known Rob and Steve for six years now. It's going yeah, on. six years, yeah. So no, it is six. It's going six years. Now. Yeah, it's going on to seven years. And so the fact that they've accepted us and invite us to these types of things is yeah. awesome. We love that. Yeah. So we did that, and uh, now we can uh, pour your wine there. We, yeah. we can we can take a little break now. We'll go back we to cooking. Take a break. Yes, we yes. are going to go back to cooking yeah. because I am actually going to show you something very cool. While, um, I think I like I now can totally pour the right amount. The right amount. Yeah, you're really good. So I think I'm, I'm like really yeah. good in terms of like my finances or my um, oh perfect thank you. Okay, so the next thing I want to show you is. Um, so how we're going to serve these, um, this chicken taco soup that we're making chicken is with soup. tortilla chips. And I learned something very interesting. Tostitos, nothing against Tostitos, they're great tortilla chips, they're really good, but they're fried. And what I am going to do is I'm going to make baked tortilla chips. Now, if you, I, I looked this up in terms of the points, and tw uh, seven Tostitos uh, tortilla chips. Who eats seven? Who eats seven? I eat the bag. I put seven in one seven. hand at one time when I'm eating nachos <coughs> or if I'm eating anything. So yeah. um, seven chips uh, Tostitos is four smart points. So I am actually going to make baked corn tortilla chips, which are 12 for three points. And I'm going to show you what I'm going to use to make them. So these are, um, they're called Casa Mendoza. Okay. They're mini corn tortillas. Okay, you can buy them Metro. Lago. Casa Mendoza, hey! Hey, exactly. That's a commercial. It sounds like it would Casa be. Casa de Sole. Oh, hey, wasn't that? That was a full house. Hey, right? we're gonna get we're gonna get Dean. Stop that. No, I'm just <laughs> so what I'm gonna do is, so each corn tortilla is one point. Oh, that's awesome. Yeah. So you cut it into four, right? You cut it into, into you can even cut it into eight. You can cut it into eight. whatever you want. Those are some yeah. mini tortillas. Yeah, but you get yeah. mini tortillas. I want something on my tortilla. Yeah, <laughs> so anyways, so, <laughs> exactly. You want to be able to yeah, use Yeah, dip it, that's a great, that's, a, that's so, the same size. And this is a grass. great way, this is a great way to do, use portion control because you're going to make as many tortillas as you want to use points for. Yeah. Um, so for dinner, when I'm making this uh, Instant Pot um, chicken soup, chicken taco chili, soup whatever you want to call it I will measure myself out three points worth of tortilla chips because that is zero points if I'm following purple or blue I got it right Yay! okay um, she's wearing the pink Santa hat it is um, so I will cut up the exact portion and I know that once I'm finished my, eating my portion they're done and I love that you're doing exactly what we do Mel because you know that that entire tortilla is one point. You're yeah. not like, oh my goodness, I have to make sure that the yeah. that I'm cutting it even because yeah. I can't. Because yeah. you know what? I will be honest. We don't always go to the extreme. Yeah. There's certain, and if you yeah. need to do that, that works for you. That yeah. works for you, yeah. right? That's absolutely, it works for you. So that works fine. So then, what you do is again, these are yours. Like <laughs> she's like, what you do is, I'm gonna drink. Is you take a glass of wine. Cheers. 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 Where's your Okay, now I'm for time saving, yep. um, I'm gonna actually make these in the air fryer. You can make them in the oven. Just make sure when That's you're massive. cooking tortilla chips or anything that um, you want to kind of give it that fried appeal, you cook it on a um, 
on something that's going to allow the air to circulate. So right. always cook, don't cook on, like don't throw them on top of a baking sheet. You should put no. them like on a cookie sheet and then on top of like a grill, uh, like, like, um, like a cookie, I get yeah, like a cookie, like a, a you know, whatever. Yeah. We know what we're talking about, right? Okay. We'll show you what it looks like. Yes. So what we're going to do is we're now that we have them cut. Um, I should actually, I feel terrible. My back has been to, in, back to that's, Instagram that's, and that's, Facebook yeah. and on TV. That's why I'm not moving them there. Maybe that'll work. Should I move them? Okay. We you might move you guys. We may move you guys. You won't see our back anymore. No. So our, our best assets. I know, exactly. So what I've done is I've sprayed a tiny little bit of the Bertoli olive oil and on here. Like the... And that went black though. And then, what, oh yay, hi guys on Instagram. Yeah, yeah, yeah. at least that's much yay. better. Sorry yeah, guys. Sorry. Okay, we'll start all over again. Okay, yeah. back to the beginning. No, yeah, no, 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 no. Back to the beginning. <laughs> okay. okay, so what I've done is I sprayed a little bit of olive oil um, spray. I put in a, I put on a little bit of salt. If you're on a salt restricted diet, you don't have to put on salt. And then I put on a little seasoning. You can do whatever you want. So I have a special taco seasoning that I put on. Um, you can also use, I brought the um, Trader Joe's chili lime seasoning, mm. so you can make chili lime tortilla chips. You can put on whatever you want, okay? And then what? A cooling rack. Thank you, Paula. Thank you. Oh my gosh, that's right. A cooling rack. Okay, so now I'm going to put these into the air fryer. We do not know this air fryer, everybody. This is uh, it's called Mel's air fryer, yeah, and it's called the Power, power air, air Fryer, and it's an oven. Which is very cool. I'm liking this right now. And the reason why I like this, and now uh, this is my, I have three air fryers. Don't I love ask that. me why, no. but I do. Okay. This one is different because there's no basket. It's actually, um, it racks. has racks. Yeah. So you can actually cook more it's than one thing. Because, because it's, it's not an air fryer. It's an air fryer oven. oven. Now this comes with accessories that actually, one of them is a drum that you can actually make french fries in and oh, turn it around. That type of drum. Yeah, not that yeah. kind of drum. It also comes with a, um, a shish kebab rotisserie, so it rotates. You can make shish kebab, you can make a whole chicken in here. It's fantastic. So we use this air fryer like every single day in our house. Yeah, Sandra says she has one just like it. Yeah, I'm really liking this. And I remember you, when we went to your cooking demo at one of the WW workshops and you were using it, I was turning to Nick yeah. going, yeah. Um, and not only that, you get to. Oh, I didn't even see this. Yeah, well, because I turned Where it on. Where did you buy this contraption? Um, I bought it at Target, but oh. but oh. they have it at Walmart. Okay. I've seen it at Canadian Tire. Yeah, it's great. It really yeah, it is. Yeah. Yeah. So I'm yeah. cooking these tortilla chips now and wait till you see these tortilla chips. I can't wait. Yes. I'm okay, hungry. so I'm gonna tidy this up. Yep. And you guys wanna I'm gonna we'll keep going, going right? Yeah. 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 yeah, we're gonna keep going for a bit. So Friday, New York. Yes. We landed in New York. Um, we left Friday morning. We actually cleaned the entire condo. You guys saw us on Thursday night cleaning the condo. We went live. We went live. And we do that because we wanted to come home. When Mel was coming, we wanted to make sure we came home and there was efficiency, right? Yes. No nope. Routine. Yeah. So then uh, get to New York on Friday morning and... We had lunch with Mindy Crossman. We did. We, you guys probably saw a picture posted with her. And amazing yeah. woman. We amazing, amazing woman. so much woman. fun. We just, we just had talking with the three it, friends it, chatting. Yeah, it was like we had known each other for a long time. You know, yeah. getting to know each other even. But it was so comfortable. And uh, I, I think what she's been doing for the company has been... Yeah. Amazing and yeah. insane. We had Caesar salad for lunch. Yeah, Caesar salad and some cheese yeah. and some a fruit and yeah. it was great. And then it was kind of cool because one of the employees, who her name is Brooke, yeah. she came running into the conference room after going, Oh my god, I heard your voices and I have to come say hi. And we had just done, we did the Mediterranean cruise with her, so that was really cool. And then that, 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 that night, we oh, after we had met up with our friends, we went to dinner at Lucien in uh, near Stonewall. Yeah, and, near Stonewall. And then that night we went, to, we kind of went, it was a very late night. It was a very late night. And, uh, which you guys saw me go live with the drag queens. <laughs> we, really, we drank a little bit that night too. I will say this, what was so fun about that night we love drag queens no matter what right but they were live they were singing live these two wow. drag queens yeah. were singing live and they were doing a lot of fun contemporary songs they were just all at it it was amazing um and it was so much fun it was fun yeah. and it was really different for us being who we are now who we are now in an environment that we never thought thought we fit in it before, before. Yeah. Wow. and now we do fit in but at the same time we are not used to fitting in yeah. It's different. It's very different. Yeah. And, uh, yeah, makes yeah. you think about a lot of things. It does. Yeah, it does, yeah. for sure. It's, it's, you know what it reminds me of? Talking about, like, now it's just, it's so different how 
there's people when they lose a great amount of weight, mm -hmm. not only is it the physical part of it, it's a lot of it is the mental part yeah. of, of being a different person. Yeah. You're not because the same you person were recognized you as as you had labeled yourself as a certain person and now you're not that person. Yeah. It's like how do I interact in society? Yeah. You have to relearn who you are now. Yeah, yeah. exactly. Yeah. It's and you are right, Paula. Uh, Mindy is an amazing person. She yeah. just blew us away. Like she told us stories and she told us things that were just it was cool. It was like she made she made conversation. We knew we met it. She talked about her husband. She talked about her daughter. She talked about her grandchildren. And yeah, it was, and it was just it was just just chatting about our story, her story, just yeah. sharing that together. It was a lot of fun. And uh, we hope to see her again. She said she, she sent us an email after saying that she loved like our chat and she hopes to see us when she comes to Toronto. So. If anybody from the W of headquarters are watching right now, you know, let us know next time she's in town. <laughs> oh, everyone's giving Sandra some love right now, and I love that. Thank uh, you, everybody. Sandra, you lo we love you, too. Yeah. Love, 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 yeah. So, um, Saturday, we went to visit the Rockefeller Alex. Center yeah. W. We bought uh, all these products. Yes. So, go get them, honey. I will go get them. And there's another pack there. So, we bought all these products. We showed a picture. So, these are products that are only in the U.S. that we don't have in Canada. And we may have them in other countries as well, but yeah. I don't know. But, uh, and a lot of people have been asking us, why aren't they in Canada? We don't know. We, uh, we have no idea. I think sometimes it has to do with how many people there are in the States versus yeah. Canada. So, it also has to do with the fact that um, uh, maybe the product is not that can't be made in Canada. You, you, yeah. They don't have factories. And it could, them. yeah, it could be depending on some of the laws, the ingredients. Yeah, it the could ingredients. be all yeah. there's a whole. Not to right. say, not to say that the ingredients. In no, the no, 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 no. It's just that Canada has very, very strict, strict guidelines, guidelines. guidelines with the yep. Food and Drug Administration. And that's and everywhere. We, yes. Yeah. Exactly. So we have we bought uh, these are blueberry protein muffins. Yep. And we also have buttermilk protein pancake, cranberry orange uh, oatmeal. And protein corn muffins. So we have these three these things to try. Yeah. We'll probably make cookies with this. We'll probably put banana in it. Yes. It'll be Amazing. delicious. Yes. And then sure. uh, we have chocolate marshmallow puffs. We also have a chocolate a triple chocolate baked protein bar, a black and white baked protein bar, a snickerdoodle baked protein bar, and a chocolate peanut butter baked protein bar. I thought you were gonna show them. I am, oh. but I and then and then and then Mel asked us to buy her a little gift. So we put it in a bag because yes, guess what? We took it out of all the boxes because we couldn't fit it in the suitcase. Was, yeah, it was, it, all the snacks can fit in the box. I'll let you open that, Mel. Oh. Not that she has no clue what it is. It so is. act surprised. Yes. <gasps> these are my favorites. It's all you ever wanted. I did. These are oh, these are oat and caramel chip breakfast cookies. So these are like the fruit and Yeah, um, the other kind. What are they called? The fruit and um the fruit and berry. Fruit and berry. berry yeah. 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 So you know what I love about doing with these? I love putting these, uh, crunching them up and putting them into my Greek yogurt. Yeah, yeah, it was delicious. So Mixing uh, the caramel. Hello, why don't you crumple it up and put it on top of like I don't know, there's so many possibilities. But the thing is, and we're going to say this, and we are very, very big on this. You guys know that we will not make, ep we won't put recipes out with these because yeah. they're not available to everybody. And I don't like doing that where, oh, guess what? It, yes. Because yes. it's just not, we won't do that. Okay, so. We'll tell you what they taste like though. Yes, so I am actually gonna use these tonight in Yay. one of my recipes That's to show cool. you, but I did bring um, other things that you can actually use. So if you can't get these. Yeah. Um, that you There's can always ways of making always it. Always different yeah. things that you can substitute for. So this is yeah. great, thank you. Yeah. And so that we, we're going to try them at some point. Uh, we don't know when. We're going to try them we'll that one tonight. But we're going to try the other ones at some point. Maybe like see. We'll maybe talk about them as we try them. Um, Another cool thing that happened this weekend is while we were in New York. Um, let us know if you're. Are you good with time right now? Are you ready to go? Whatever. Let us know whenever you're ready. Yeah. To go. Whenever you need to say anything. You know please. what? Let me let me just assemble this and then yeah. we can go on. So Perfect. we talked about making this chicken taco soup and making it versatile to use in many different ways. And one of the other ways I'm gonna use this is I'm gonna make nachos. We're not using the tortilla chips though to make the nachos. What we are going to be using is these mini bell peppers. So these mini bell peppers are unbelievable. Um, and actually I'm looking here at a recipe on the back of the package and it's yeah. quinoa stuffed mini peppers. Oh yummy. So, so they just made this huge bowl of quinoa know, for the week. So good. And it's I tasted it and it's so delicious, so you can actually do this. But anyway, what I've done is I've taken these pe uh, bell peppers and I've cut them in half and taken um, all the seeds out. So now we have kind of a, um, a whole tray of these. 
And what I'm going to do is, you can make, again, these are your own nachos, make them any way you want. You wanna make them vegetarian, you wanna make them meat, you wanna make them whatever way you want, they're yours. Um, but here's a little bit, now, now you know my secret, but I'm not gonna, but you can't give away my secret. Um, I'm gonna take some of the uh, chicken taco soup that I'm Look at her, made. she's like all prepared. She comes with something and made. And I'm just gonna sprinkle it on top of the um, tortilla chips or the peppers tortilla chips. And we are gonna make these wonderful, delicious nachos. Now, think about this. How many, you know how many points that tortilla chips would have if you were making this yeah, many lot. tortilla yeah, chips? Yeah, a lot. Like you'd be starting off already with maybe like eight to 10 points. And you're, just off tortilla and you're chips, using right? all fresh ingredients. And you're oh. using fresh ingredients. Like you're getting in your veggies and- um, uh, Beans, which beans. is protein. And Corn. 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 We love corn. We love corn. We love corn. Okay. I want to say one little thing that uh, Renee mentioned is that the packaging in Canada has to be bilingual. Yes. So um, maybe some of these products are not made here, while some of our products are probably made yeah. in Canada. Yeah. Exactly. So the bilingual part is there, so they can't bring over that industry who can do, you know yeah. what I mean? So it makes exactly. sense. Yeah, that could be yeah. something. I don't know value at that. Makes sense, but yeah. Okay, so another thing I'm going to add to these Tomato. nachos, uh, nachos is I just kind of... It's um, so cool that tomatoes can be used on top of tomatoes to add a different consistency know, of what a tomato so actually is. Exactly. Well, you can it's it's so too. I know. Yeah, yeah. So I'm adding a little True. bit of... You never see someone put... You can be mashed potatoes potato with the fry on top. With yeah. Yeah. You can never put a mashed potato with french fries on top. Oh, okay. Exactly. Maybe we'll exactly. Yeah. Okay, so on the next thing only. I'm going to put on is because I know Jean-Luc and Nick like spicy, and I do too. So I am going to put on... You don't have to eat the corn, Sandra. Just love it for what it is. Exactly. Yeah, just that out and you can't have it. Yeah. If you can't have it, then don't worry about it. Remember yeah. I told you, these are your nachos. These are Make your the recipes. You like them. No one should ever force you to eat anything that you don't want to eat. Um, and sometimes you have to not eat certain things. Yeah. And sometimes, some, sometimes you don't have to eat, yeah. Oh. Yeah, we get that. Well, oh, yeah. Oh, those are okay, so I'm just gonna put a couple more on here, and then I am just going to um, put a little bit of cheese. So this is just like a light shredded cheese. How many points approximately? Um, I, okay, so a quarter of a cup is going to be about two points. So okay. I'm gonna put about half a cup on. Okay, so, so about four points worth. Yeah. I know. And again. Eight points worth. However many points, like we, we're already, we're still at zero points before I put the cheese yeah, on. Yeah, exactly. exactly. Like, the come cheese. on. Enjoy the cheese. Put the cheese okay. on. Enjoy the cheese. Go. Big go. go. I, should be, I should be going put cheese. Put the cheese on. I should go come cheese. On. Let's go to town on the cheese. Oh, cheese. come on. We're all eating it. Put it's okay. Put on. the cheese on. I love how thinly shredded this cheese is. Yeah, it's great cheese. Okay. Cheese? Cheese. Okay. Sandra, that's your new one. We can go cheese. <laughs> cheese. And then, just to make it look a little bit, you know, aesthetically pleasing, like, I'm just Make your food pretty. That's, you know what, it's make so your food important pretty. to make your food pretty. Put your food in pretty dishes. Hey, okay, look how amazing this is. I'm just gonna it show does look you. like nachos. It does, does this not look like nachos? It does, like, it totally does. Okay. Put it in the oven, I wanna eat it. And the only points in this entire dish is the cheese. Cheese? That's it. Yeah. Oh, it's amazing. Yeah. Okay, I'm sure you have to put a 375 earlier. I'm totally, uh, I can't wait. Or, yeah, or I can even, we can put them in a, oh no, I'll put them in a, put them in a, uh, which rack? Doesn't matter. Okay. Yeah. Whatever, yeah. Okay. Do you want a timer? Mm, put them on for 15 minutes. 15 minutes. 10, 15 minutes. Okay, okay. I'm going to take out the tortilla chips. I can use this. Yeah, that no. Um, let's just grab a bowl here, or a plate. <laughs> So just to show you, and then I'm gonna I'm gonna be quiet for a bit. Um, oh wow, those are awesome. Now I think I overcooked them a little bit, but that's okay. No, I think the they were just those ones are on top, and oh, I think those ones had right. a little bit more seasoning on them. Okay, so here we go. Can I have one? I would just let them cool for a second. I know you can't Mom! wait. I want one. Okay. How awesome are these? And they're not. Right, like that's the best part. Hi, Brenda. Hi, Brenda. Okay, <laughs> hey, just to show you here, here's our tortilla chips. And show it, there you go. They're perfect. 
Okay. Oh, so, so they're beautiful. You can definitely have one. They're just going to be a little hard. We're okay with that. Okay. Let's have Remember, it. we're hungry. Mmm. We're looking cool, Beth. Mmm. They're so crunchy. Aren't they good? Mmm. Oh, yeah, they're, they're hot. They're not boiled. No. I love them because they taste like corn. Mmm. Mmm. Corn? Corn? Mmm. Mm. Really good. These are for our dinner afterwards. Mm hmm. Okay. Okay, you guys go on. Okay. So the next thing we want to talk about, um, one of our friends that we met on a cruise in April, her name is Vanessa, and she reached out to Nick after he posted one of our posts of being in New York. And she's been in New York, she's from England, and yeah. she's been in New York for three months working there. And she's like, we have to meet up for lunch. And you know when you meet someone? And you have that connection? I had that connection, because I'm the one that met her first. Yes. And then I introduced Nick to her uh, later, a couple days later. and. She's such a beautiful soul, and we had lunch and brec oh, well, brunch with her, and we talked about a whole bunch of stuff. She's really happy. She follows us as well. And, yeah. um Having her possibly come to Ontario and come to Toronto for the Visit first time, us. she's never been to Canada before. Careful with that. I'm not. Oh, you. you know what you're doing. I know. Yeah, she has one. It just scares me. I don't want anyone to burn themselves. <laughs> and then, uh, so we had breakfast with her. Yeah. At uh, Ar Café Un Deux Trois. Café Un Deux Trois in Manhattan. Yeah, and then we went to see Jagged Little Pill. The musical by Alanis Morissette. And we posted a video after we saw it about how it, it affected us. And to this day, it's still affecting us. Like the, It's really weird because this is songs that we've known our entire lives. Yeah. Music that we've known for the last 25 years. Okay. And the fact that it's now been reintroduced to us in a different, in a different light. We don't the see, songs no longer see a land. I do, do but, but they seem to me like I see the musical now. There's, there's, this musical is very deep. So if you're going to see this, we might prepared. actually do just a video on the musical, like talking about the musical. Maybe we'll see. Who knows? Because yeah. it's insane. We so, don't want to ruin it for everybody. Yeah. Though. So we won't give you guys the details. It was amazing. So if you have a chance to ever see it, if you ever come please to Toronto, your city, please go see it because it was really good. We really enjoyed it, and it's left us emotionally scarred. Yeah. No, not scarred. Touched. 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 Because yeah. it's not a scar. It's not a negative thing. It not, was not as a meaning yeah. as a negative thing. Yeah. It's um, impacted us. Yeah. We then went to dinner at Bar Bacon, which uh, was okay. We, yeah. We, we, we realized we don't like, like bacon. bacon. Yeah. We, we will say this. We, we, I love the smell of it. I love I it. used to like it. Yeah, that kind of makes not that doesn't make me feel good anymore. Well, I think too. That's the thing. It doesn't make us feel good anymore. And no. what is what is our rule? Don't put it in your mouth if you don't like it. Yeah. Right. And then we went to see the Rockefeller uh, tree, the tree we of the Rockefeller. Uh, yep. And, and then we, then we did sax. Sax. So we show you guys the sax window. So if you haven't seen any of this, it's all on our Facebook page. You guys can go see or on Instagram. We have all these pictures up of all the stuff we've done on this weekend, so you can catch up and see all this stuff. We even have videos on there when we went live, so people can actually go watch there. Um, Stacy said it made her tear up when she saw our video. Yeah, it was emotional. It was very... I will say this, I was convulsing in the second act where I could not... The first act, there's, a, there's a, a specific scene that happened, and from that forward I started crying and I couldn't stop, and then I will the say second this, act I cried the, the entire time. The choreography in this show is insane, because yeah. you have the actors playing their roles, and all the members of the cast are now also looking like what Alanis looked like through the all the years. Yeah. So you saw her in her dreads, you saw her with a shaved head, and they were also part of the storyline where they were the influencers on yeah. these characters. Yeah. Wow. They were like all like a hidden like There was a lot of dance in it that yeah. was a lot of very cool type uh, yeah. insane show. So we visited this morning. We, were, so we went to last night we did that and then we went to visit uh, Brian, Brian Park, Park this morning. Yes. Got to take a picture with Santa. We did. He yeah. was so he looked like yeah. Santa. Like he was Santa. And we met these two ladies, these lovely ladies at Brian Park too. So if they, they we gave them our cards so if they're watching hi, they're from Michigan and they were amazing. They were no, so not nice. from Michigan. Yes, they mm. said Michigan. Mm -mm. Oh, she was originally from Michigan, but she doesn't uh, live in Michigan right now. Um I can't uh, Colorado. Oh, it's saying burn there. Oh, burn. No, it's okay. Don't worry, Ben. Okay. Don't worry, Ben. Okay. Okay. All right. She knows what she's doing. Okay. I know what I'm doing. Okay. <laughs> I'm like, it says burn. All okay. right. And then we flew back home, and then we did all our stuff for tonight, and we saw the stops. <laughs> and we walked for an hour okay. and a half at the airport. In the airport today. Yeah. We wanted to make sure to get our calories, and that's what I, I was actually going to talk about that next. That's why. Yeah, no, but I just wanted to yeah. say, we walked in the airport. So, and then we got home, and we did groceries, we, we fed the cats, we got everything ready, we did our lunches, we did our prep for the week, and we, now we're here. We haven't stopped yet. We're still going from this morning, guys. And we are a little, just a little tired. That's what we're saying. We're, we're, tired. we're tired. We're tired. We're tired. We're tired. We're we know when the show time. ends, we're going to be like, Ugh. Yeah. And I want to say one more thing before we go into anything else, is Mel came over tonight, and... Gave us a little gift. Melis spoils us. And guys, again, we do not want to be spoiled. This yes. is not what we... We don't do this for anything. Like, no. we thank we this people help for... Us. Yeah, we... Th and, and help us. And help us. It keeps us on schedule. Program. It keeps us on program. It keeps us 
Makes alert. Sense. Yeah, it does. It does. And so, guess what? Mal came over and she got us a Christmas ornament. And apparently, she's never bought anybody a Christmas ornament no, before. No, this is my first. So, I have to show you guys this. It is. Uh, I don't want to show them that, but they don't. I'm being funny. Yeah. No, but I'm not worried. Let's tell them what it is. I'll it. tell them. It's a little Christmas ornament. I'm going to show right here. And it has a door with a wreath on it, and it has 2019, and there's four little characters on it, and it says Saba with a paw print, Keikos with a paw print, and then Nick and Jean-Luc. And how adorable is this little thing? And then our actual condo number is in the, on the door in the wreath. Yeah. So it is so, 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 mm. like... We, we love Christmas ornaments. Yeah. So. And we love Mel. We love Mel to pieces. Thank you for offering to do this tonight because it helps a lot. Yeah. Well, it's funny because I sent you guys a message and I said, guys, I have such a great idea for a, a live show. Let's do a cooking show. Um, because when I worked for WW, I was doing um, cooking demonstrations yeah. at, at some of the um, studios. And um, and you're like, you said it could have been. It was better. the perfect. They had no topic we for didn't tonight. Have a topic. They had nothing planned for we're tonight. Like, and what are we like, going to talk yes. about? We had we had next week planned and the week after, but not this yeah. one. This one we had no idea what. Well, so and like I think it was me. one of those things where we said we said, what do we talk about? Because we're yeah. going to be coming back from New York anyways. We're going to be tired. So yeah. We're yes. Kind of so do something there, big. I took I took the wings by the horn she and did. or whatever that saying is, and yeah. So one thing we want to finish out by saying, just about the week that we've gone through. So one of the we said earlier is that we actually did all the activity this week. We completed exercise every single day. And you know how we did it while we were in New York? We didn't go to the gym. Nope. We walked. And we so walked. we actually wrote down here our steps for every day that we did while we were in New York. So on Friday, John Luke walked 15,242 steps. I walked 15,940. Saturday, 15,947 for John Luke, 16,771. And today, as of like an hour ago, we, I think I'm over 20,000 now. So yeah, I will tell you right now what our actual steps are for today. And I got all my three rings. Me too. High five. We're done another Seven day. out of seven. Seven out of seven. I'm at 20,885 steps today. And I'm at 17,000 and just in time because my battery, my watch is about to die. Yeah. So we're I'm all, at 17,347. And the reason we're sharing this, guys, is because your activity does not have to be a gym. You can get your activity in any form or shape, any way you want to do it. As long as you keep moving, you keep yourself going, and you can get that, that calorie burn, and you will use it up. We did it today at the airport. We knew we were not going to have time to go to the gym, so we said, let's just walk by the airport. We were doing nothing anyway. And it was so funny because I would see, I was seeing other people there, and I almost wanted to get other people to walk with us, yeah. but it would have been impossible. Yeah. Like, there was a lot of people in the airport, yeah. and so it kind of made us, like, uh, we had to maneuver through people. It was hilarious. It was yeah. absolutely hilarious, so... Um, oh, so I want to open some, are you ready for the next, uh, do you want to do the next good? one? Do we, we still have a few, do we still we have still a few have minutes? Time. Okay. Yo, you guys go do that. Oh, yeah. oh, oh, yeah. I wanted to show this. This yeah. is so cool. So when I did have a few cocktails this weekend. We drank this weekend. Of course we did. We're being honest. We drank we a bottle of Amarato between the two of us. We yeah. almost bought two, but instead we decided to buy one and it was perfect. We had just the right amount for the two days that we were there. And how cool is that thing? Um, when you bought a drink at the theater, it came with this little, uh, cup. And it's like an insulated coffee cup. It's a little coffee cup. So I thought it was cute. So, we got mail this week. So you we got, got mail! You, you got, got mail. mail! Is it M-A-L-E or M-A-L-I-L? I want a little bit of both. So our first card is from Amanda, from Amanda in Windsor. Windsor! And she sent us this card. Look, look at this, look at what I'm getting. So, may your holidays be merry and the new year be filled with family, friends, and good times. Friends like you make the season bright, and I'm very happy this journey brought us together. Merry Christmas to you and your family. Love, Amanda. So, thank uh, you I'm so gonna much. I'm going to actually show you guys what Amanda looks like, because Amanda has lost, like, 109 pounds on WW. She's the one that reached out to us. A makeover. She just got a makeover. Her salon that she's been going to for, like, 15 years said, Amanda, for all your success, we are buying, we're doing, giving you a makeover. We are also hiring a photographer and taking pictures of you. And look at that. Did you talk to them? Oh, I know, but I want to show them first. But look at that. Look at oh that. My God. Look at this. This is, and we actually have an episode coming out with her, yes. like a, a little video coming yeah. out with in her. In January, so in January. We'll talk about that in a bit because we're taking a break again. She is okay. the one we were speaking of that was asked us to go to the gym with us when we first started. Yeah. Amazing. And we're actually going to see her probably next weekend. Yes, I hope so. Yeah. We're hoping to be That's able to fantastic. see her. Yeah. Good so, um, another piece of mail yes. we got from Kim, who. We already talked about Kim. She also was made a moderator. She was made a moderator. Yes. Congratulations, 
Yay. And it's so funny though because we actually approach. I will say this. I approach Kim because Kim posts a lot and we yeah. love her videos that she's posting. And she's she was like apprehensive about it. And I said, Kim, you have nothing to worry about. It's just accepting people into the group. And if you don't feel comfortable, just don't accept, don't do it. Yeah. I don't get how this one works. Uh, I don't know, but that's the most beautiful card. I don't think it's like that. I, I, think, don't, it I think it's just a card. I and do. I think it turns into it some actually, kind of scene. I think it opens. Yes, there you go. You, you're more artistic. I think so. I'm not sure. Yeah, Why are you doing that one? Oh, yeah, it turns into a... Oh, that's cute. It's like a scene. Like, a, like a Christmas scene. Oh, that's yeah. cute. It's very cute. That's awesome. Thanks, Cam. Thank you, Cam. Look at that. That's beautiful. It's pretty. That's so beautiful. And then we have another one here. I love that. Mm -hmm. You can put it over there. Put it all yeah, it's so kind of... nice. And we have one sort of from, uh, from Heather and Sean from Mount Pearl, Newfoundland. Wow. And so they said, I've been following you guys on YouTube since I started my W journey back in August 2018. And I have to say, I absolutely love you. You guys are so real and down to earth. And I haven't even met you yet. Last month, yet. She yes. hasn't done like that. Wait. <laughs> wow. <laughs> Laugh out loud, you inspire me so, you inspire so many people with your positive and upbeat attitudes. I look forward to your, your new videos and our every week. Keep up the amazing work you do and hopefully someday I will get the privilege to meet you. Love, Heather. So far my journey, I've lost 82 pounds. Yay! Thank you so much, Heather. Um, this is why we do this, guys. This message here is why we do this. We... We want to, this is what we want to do, we want to inspire people. We feel that we did not have that inspiration our whole lives. And so if we can somehow share that with other people now. Oh, yeah. oh my god, you guys, I love you. And you sent us your location, so we're going to actually write, that, write this down for our tour. So yes. we're going to write this down for our tour, so we'll see if we can do something in Mount Pearl, Newfoundland. So we'll see what we can do. I'm going to Newfoundland next summer, maybe you guys want to join me. <laughs> well, We'll see what we can do. Yeah, we'll see because sorry, I'm emotional. Yeah, it's been an emotional weekend with the the, the musical. Okay, so, why don't you guys take a break? For yeah, a second? yeah, I could totally use a break right now. Yes, <laughs> and, a, and a sip of wine. No, and you know what kills me is when uh, when people want to meet us. It's just it's like, hard because we really want to meet everyone, everybody. and we can't. Like we work full time. And it's it's not, really hard. No, it, not that, but it's on top of why like. I don't get, get it. it. You, you, but you, you don't get it because you're not in it. Yeah. And you don't realize how many you lives... You guys can do the same thing. You don't realize how many lives that you touch. How inspirational you guys are to everyone that you touch and everyone that you meet. You inspire. You, you... But we don't know why. That's the thing. We don't know why. You don't need to know why. <laughs> You don't need to know why. You just need to know that you do. And keep on doing what you're doing and keep being as real and and just keep being That's one thing we are. like. That's one thing that we want to emphasize. We love, we want to be real. Because we see everybody out there that are struggling. We know we were there. We did it for years. Yeah. We always struggled. Sandra said she wouldn't have lost all the weight if she wouldn't have met us. <laughs> you're going to make us cry. Okay. Thank you. Okay. okay. No okay. more crying. No more crying. Food. Food. Okay, so let's go on to dessert, even though we haven't had dinner yet and appetizers. But let's go on to dessert because I have to feed. I have to feed these boys. I'm hungry too. Yeah, yes. I okay. Eat. So I came across these, this recipe um, just recently. Um, Hungry Girl, Lisa Lillian, um, who has written, I think, 13 cookbooks, and she's absolutely amazing. I've actually had the opportunity. To, to meet her a couple of times and spend time with her in um, California and go to her Hungry Land place. Oh, cool. Um, well, yeah, Hungry, Land, Hungry Land, Land in LA. Uh -huh. And she just posted this uh, recipe the other day. Um, it's called a spiralized apple pie, and it's kind of like a deconstructed apple pie. Um, mm. Yes, so normally, this would have been spiralized apples, but unfortunately, we had... Um, a um a spiralized, spiralized mishap mishap today um so that's okay right because anything i have just... one and i'm terrible i've never used it yes. and it's not the one she had and she said well i won't bring one if you have one and yes. then i should have yes. told her bring that's yours. okay that's okay we made do with what we had and it was amazing so i um basically chopped up these apples into or diced them up into pretty small pieces and what I'm going to do is I'm going to cook these apples. And what we're going to do is instead of making spiralized apple pie, 
We're gonna also make spiralized apple tarts. Mm. We're gonna make a deconstructed apple pie. Um, and it's gonna be absolutely There's delicious. Gonna be a lot of food. Yes, it's gonna be a lot of food. We're gonna be feasting. Yeah. But if We're I tell you, food. everything we're eating tonight is gonna be like under six points. Yeah, everything that we're eating, it's insane. Crazy. It's crazy. So, and the reason we're holding the caffeine because they are dying us. for attention right now. They miss us a lot. Okay, so. I'm just gonna show you um, in a frying pan what I'm gonna do. Um, so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put these apples. Actually, no, I'm not gonna put these apples in here yet. Lies. I'm not. <laughs> I need a bowl. Do you have oh. a large bowl? Yes, you do. Okay. He's so funny. Oh, you're awesome. Okay, so we're gonna take a large you know bowl. Sad, right? <laughs> Okay. I have to show this guy. You already they saw them show. the other day when He's I was like, so my bowls. No, you're not supposed to be there. <laughs> He's so embarrassed by his other bowls. I don't like my other bowls. So this is the bowls we use most of the time. Almost all the time we cook. But he's embarrassed by them. He says they're ugly. And I love them, I but he won't them. use them. They're great. Excuse me. They're if colorful. You, if you're on green, you should be using green. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Well, well we do use them because our, these are become our new popcorn balls. Because yeah. balls. They're balls. Bowls. 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 bowls, I said bowls. 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 OK, so basically what I'm going to do is I'm going to take an empty bowl. This is cornstarch. You can use, if you don't want to use cornstarch, corn. You know how much we love corn, and it's it's, it's funny. It's funny because I actually like corn that much. It's so funny. It's corn starch. Okay, so corn starch. You can also use arrowroot starch, also. Um, and this is what actually is going to give the apple pie that you know when you eat apple pie, it's, it's like thick. Yes, yes, yes. That yes. thick yes. kind of like oh, it just brings it all together. Corn starch before. Oh, there you go. Absolutely. So I'm going to take um, one tablespoon of cornstarch and I am going to take um, how much water? I need a quarter cup of water. So quarter cup just, right here. Oh, okay, perfect. And I need one package of any type of sweetener that you guys use, whether it be oh, Splenda or right Truvia. I don't have or... a package, but I have the. Okay, natural. so that doesn't matter. We don't need a package. But a package would be 15 milliliters, which is... Here's a teaspoon right there. Oh, 15 milliliters is... is yeah. There's two, I could use that's what... Package is 15, so yeah. three of those? Okay. No, that's a lot for a package. Would you think? Yeah. I'm like, I'm, I would just do one of those. It's okay. okay. One is good. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to mix the cornstarch and get it uniform. And then if you can put in that, that's perfect. Great. Amazing. And then I'm going to add in a little bit of cinnamon. So I'm going to add in a quarter teaspoon of cinnamon. A quarter teaspoon of cinnamon. 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 And this cinnamon, cinnamon, cinnamon. And I'm going to or, uh, add in a quarter teaspoon of. Let's close this so it doesn't spill. Quarter teaspoon of vanilla extract. Does it say, is it cooking? It yeah, says it's 08. Cooking. Good. She Perfect. did some like funny things to it. I don't know what she did. Okay, mix this all up and then I'm going to toss in the apples. Mm. It almost looks like that, that it, it makes me think of like uh, French toast right now with yes. the cinnamon and the, like oh just gosh. seeing that. Yeah, and that smell. But you could probably throw an egg in there too. You could. You know what it, no, it would end up being scrambled because there's no milk. So no, don't do that. Never mind. Okay. I lied. Okay, so it's all mixed together. That sounds yummy. And then we're just gonna pour it into the mm. frying pan. Mm. Now it's going in the frying pan. Now it's gonna go into the frying pan. <coughs> Let me take this back. Okay. Perfect. And actually, I'll keep the fork and I'm just gonna turn on the oven. And while I'm cooking this up a little bit for about, I'm gonna cook it up for maybe about uh, three to four minutes till it gets ooey and gooey. Mm. Ooey and gooey and sounds delicious. Especially the apples. Yes. Yeah, yeah, perfect. perfect. This is actually kind of works really well. We do cooking and a little. Uh... So the next thing we'll talk about is our tour. So all the dates have been released. It's been posted on our website, on Connect, on Instagram, and on our group. 
But we want to say that we've been still getting more locations because our tour is not over, guys. These yes. are the first 20 places that we were visiting, the 20 workshops we were visiting. And we do want to emphasize that we would love to be able to do as many tours as we possibly could, but we also have to think of our... our, our we work full-time. Yeah. We have to think of our well-being, so we will get to see as many people as we possibly can. What we ask is if we come into your town or at a different time or a different day, if you can make it, yeah. can make it to that time instead. Exactly. That would be great That would, be, gr that would yeah. be so helpful. If you know that we're coming to the 9.30, but you usually go to the 8 o'clock, yeah. If you want to stick around for the nine o'clock, that would be so helpful. It just helps to us, us out. Yeah. Because trying to meet as many people as possible, but not redoing the same locations. Like sometimes we can, sometimes we can. Unfortunately. Yes, we will be posting these recipes after the show. So uh, Melanie has them all. We will post them all after the show. So definitely. Yeah. Um, so uh, so we want to actually announce just the first three upcoming dates because we actually now we're going to ask them every week. So our first stop is in Milton on December 27th. Yes, and that's with the Milton group. We showed you guys the video that they sent us last week and we are doing some pole dancing, if yeah. I'm not mistaken, on Friday. Yeah. 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 And we're actually going to try to take yeah. pictures out while we're doing it too, so it'll be fun. So hi, Heather. I don't know if she was, she was watching her, but I don't know if she still is, but hi. And then uh, on December 28th, the next, the following day, which is a Saturday, we're going to Bayview Village, which is actually a location near our, our house, so that's why yes. we're going there. And Nick's mom is with us this week, yes. that week, those couple of days. Yeah. So you will all be able to meet Lizette as well, yeah. if she comes with us. I'm she sure she will. She is so lovely. I love I my love mom. her. She's and she's so, okay. And not only is she lovely, and she's fun, and she's cool. Yeah. She's okay. She's a cool mom. She's my she girlfriend. She's cool. She's my girlfriend. I love my mom. She's and a good mom. <laughs> Yep. And love your mom too. I love, you I love, I, yeah. On December 29th, we will be in Oakville with Alex. Alex. Alex! We're coming to Alexandra. see you! So we will be in Oakville like, on a Sunday meeting, so if you guys can make it out. We'll probably, some of these locations might come back again because Oakville is close by, but we'll, we'll see what you We've guys... We've just been invited to brunch with Paula uh, 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 on January 4th in Stouffville. Yeah, Paula, I don't, I don't, I think that could work. Yeah. Maybe we can do, like, Paula, why don't we do a potluck at the Stouffville? Anyways, we'll figure it we'll out. We'll figure it out. And so another thing we want to say, so Sandra G, your video that you uh, sent us, we will be releasing it. We were actually just, we've been so busy, we haven't done, but we will release it because we will be going to London at I some point. I thought No, not hers yet. She said, I haven't done that. But we showed it her. last week, though. Yes, we showed, we showed, we showed it. Yes, 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 it will be released. Yes, yes. we've just, we've been really busy. But oh, we'll sorry, Instagram. It. Yeah, that's okay. So then, uh, those are the first three stops. If you still have not heard about your location, remember, send us an email, www.gays at gmail.com. Send us an email with your location, coach, time, and day of your workshop, and we'll see what we can do. Um, we and got we had some new sub submissions, actually. Uh, Peter Bro, uh, Cynthia is the WW coach at Peter Bro. She sent us a request. Yep, and we also have Niagara Falls. Sharon from Niagara Falls sent us a request as well. Westway United Church. Jackie is the WW coach there. She made us her aprons. That's your wearing. She did. Yeah. That's oh, from Jackie. Yeah. Nice. She gave it to you. Look, it looks hard. I don't know. Look, you can see it. It's an original. So nice. Yeah. Thank you. Isn't that crazy? Wow. So there's that. Uh, we're going to be. Uh, so we got two requests for Ottawa Maryvale uh, from the actual studio coordinator, Catherine. We actually I think maybe watching today. And Ariane, who I saw, Ariane. 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 I don't know. So she's also watching. I saw. I saw her earlier. So that, we we, have, we got your emails. Uh, we got a, a um, request for Burlington from Phaedra. Yep. We also have one from London South. Uh, London Southwood from John. Vaughn St. Mary's from Sylvia and from Brenda. Work. And Sylvia is someone we work with. And yep. Brenda is the coach there. Yep. And we all know Brenda Day. Yeah, Brenda Sky Day. Yeah, really nice guy. Um, and then we have uh, we got a request from Janine from from Montreal, Janine, Janine. from Montreal. Yeah, and, and then, we got go ahead, then. No, from Port Perry, Lindsay. And we got also a request from Chantal from Tottenham. We also got a request for Niagara uh, from St. Catharines as well. But that one I need to write down because I forgot to write down on this list. We've got to request that too. But you remember, so that's yeah. all that matters. Um, we did not do any shout outs this week, guys. It's just been so busy. But thank yeah. you so much for all the love that you gave us while we were in New York. We actually had such a phenomenal, 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 phenomenal yeah. time in New York. Um, if you ever have the opportunity to go, I will tell you this. It is the city that never sleeps. My mom's watching. Hi, Mama. Hi, Mama. Yeah, JL is my girlfriend. Yeah. <laughs> I was just joking when I said I don't like her. I love <laughs> Nick's mom to pieces. Yeah. Like, honestly, she's, yeah, yeah, a special woman. Yeah. And then uh, this week we have, uh, we're going to be doing Kango. Kango this week. So it's, a, it's so an exercise it. with like, it's like a jumping exercise. Do you like a kangaroo? I've done yeah. it before. Have you? And it is so much fun, I can't even begin to tell you how so much fun the, the, it is. So it's happening in Newmarket on Thursday, December 19th. We posted information on our Facebook page. So if you're interested in doing it in your new, your new Newmarket, come in out and do it with us. 
Uh, we'll be filming a video about it too as well to showcase it in the future. Um, next this is what I just found. Oh, there you go. Put the music off. Music down. Yeah, I'm gonna do that right now. Yeah. This is what Kangoo is. So just jumping on like these trampoline like, you know, shoes. It's amazing. So then, uh, th next week's videos, we have, uh, we don't have a recipe this week, guys. We're actually slowly tapering off our videos again. It's okay, because oh. we have lots of recipes here. Yeah, there you go. Oh on my that, god. Though, I just can't, I wish, oh, I wish that you could smell. I can smell it. Through, I mean, I can smell, you know what I love about it smelling is the jalapeno in oh. there, too. How is amazing that jalapeno in there? Look? That's How what you put, right? How amazing do these look, guys? Okay. It looks like nachos. It is nachos. But you know what I mean? Like, it really, you would never... Yes, they're amazing. Okay, can I just quickly get this going? Yeah, so, okay. yeah, yeah. You're, it's all yours. Okay, so um, the last thing we're doing is a dessert, and like I said, we're doing like a spiralized apple pie, and we're gonna make it a couple ways. Um, again, totally what you want to do. So I purchased these. They're um, mini phyllo. Yeah. Philo. I, don't know. I probably have some philo people. You say, say philo, potato, I say potato. Philo. You yes, say philo, I say philo. Let's call the whole thing, thing off. off. Okay. No, anyway, let's eat. Eat. Let's, let's eat everything. Yeah. So these are mini philo shells. Um, Longo's Highland Farms has them. You can, depends on the store, you can either find them in the freezer section or you can find them where the breads are. I don't know why that some people keep them in the freezer and some people don't, doesn't say it has to be. But anyways, um, they look like this. They're already cooked. They're so cute. Now, they look crunchy. these, they are crunchy. Oh. Mm -hmm. I love that they're pre-cooked, right? Like right. <laughs> now, these are not just for dessert. No, you could think of your opportunities. Oh, again, exactly. Exactly. Where There's, do you find them again? You said uh, Longos okay. and Highland Farms, Copas. We yep. have found some, but not like these ones. These yeah. ones are very different. You probably found the Tender Flake ones, which no. are like no, no. no. You found they weren't not even no. this look. Anyways, no. think of like an appetizer where you take like a cheese string and you put a cheese string in here with let's say some dried cranberries or a piece of brie, a small yeah, piece of brie, just, and you melt it and you make it well, for appetizers. Um, 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 I even see like a piece of chocolate oh. in there. Mm -hmm. Hello, there's, mm -hmm. look at this, blueberries. Like you can totally make anything. Now, I know, the end, the possibilities are endless. You can make tacos in here. You can make yeah. lasagnas in here. You can make- Grapefruit, hello, hello. everybody who's been asking about holiday Things yeah. to bring to a oh party. God. These. These. Absolutely. Um, we could even put fresh fruit and yeah. a little bit of cool whip on yeah. it. Yeah. Honestly. So would you believe that two of these are one point? Strawberry mango compote. Strawberry mango compote yeah. with a dollop of, of yogurt. yogurt. Amazing. A little bit of ice cream, mm -hmm. whatever you want to put on. So two of these are one point. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna fill these with the um, apple that I cooked. I can't wait. Okay. Um, I need another um, tray, like another baking tray. Oh, okay. Just the big one. Yeah. And I'm gonna fill these up. I'm gonna make a couple of these. And Can I put this away? Oh, no. So look at this. I'm just gonna take the apple. You wanna make it with raspberries? You can make it with raspberries. Strawberries. You wanna make it with strawberries? You can make it with strawberries. I mean, literally, this is your vehicle to carry whatever you wanna carry in it, right? I'm um, doing that for you. Pardon me? I'll keep doing this for okay, you. Okay, you do that you can do the next. Okay, so the other thing, if you don't want to use the shells, if you totally just want to do it without the shells, you can take something like this called a ramekin. Uh, take a ramekin, okay? And I'm just going to Or even the uh, the skillets, probably the bake the skillets that we have. Yeah, yes. little skillets. So here is a ramekin. You literally take a ramekin. Now I probably, at this point, if you're not gonna put it in the shells, I would probably um, maybe cook the apples a little bit longer, but they are pretty much cooked and this ramekin can go in the like oven as well. Um, and then when you take this out, what you can do is you can put a little bit of, just a little bit of Cool Whip on it, or like we talked about before, you could put some of the, um, wait, the WW um, cookies on top. Or take some graham wafer crumbs. As simple as that. And it's oh, so funny because you guys want to eat later. Okay, make them all. Make them all. We automatically think. Look at 
like this. I'm that. taking some graham wafer crumbs and oh. I'm just going to Do you know the pointage on that? Just out of curiosity. Yeah, I'm going to figure it out right now. I can figure it out for you. Here you go. Give it to me. But that's our job. We're your assistants. You just, you just taught, you just, you just said recipe. So we just put it on here like that and then we're going to put this in the oven with that and we're going to cook it up and it's going to be amazing. Why do these look amazing so far? Do these not look amazing? And if They're you're so going cute. to someone's house and you know that two of these are one point, we're going to put a little dollop of Cool Whip on top, and they are absolutely delicious. That They're would be yummy. So, and, and decadent. Yeah, well, and you feel like you're having some really elegant, like, uh, but it's so simple. Exactly. And when you take this to somebody's house, no one will know that this is a WW recipe. Right, 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 right. Nobody's going to know. So it's... Hey, I'm still learning the new app like everybody else. I lose where the calculator is when I found it. Yeah, I'll just find it. You have to go to the comments first. Okay. Okay, so we're looking at calories is 130. So, just so you guys know. Because I never trust the scanner. So yeah. I, I want to know. If I just okay. feel, it's, I've gotten to the point where since our whole cheese string debacle yes. of 2018. Yes. Or 19 when we first, 18 actually. 18. But yeah, so, um, it's kind of funny because what you, you, what you just said kind of triggered a, a memory for me or a thought for me. Next week's live show, because actually you kind of you kind of brought it out a little bit. So next week's live show will be about Christmas parties, about Christmas, Hanukkah, all the holidays that are coming up, and how do you navigate the parties, the meals, everything you have to do. And this is actually a good example right here because you're talking about you know if you're doing a potluck at work, and you know you have to bring a dish. Why don't you bring yourself a dish that you know you can have? You know that's a lower point option because. Most of the recipes that I've heard people make and bring to their coworkers, people eat them up. We made the yeah. pizza bombs once, and people were like, "Oh my god, these are amazing!" They're like, "This is a wait, this is a W." And we're all shocked. So that's an idea. We'll be, and this is what we'll be talking about next week. Plus, what are we doing as well, honey? Oh, Christmas tree! Oh, Christmas tree! Oh, Christmas tree! I don't oh, know that one no very well. Works. I picked up picked the wrong song, but that's all I can. That's all I can. La 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 in Ashelsis day oh, 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 oh. So we will be singing Christmas carols as well. Uh, just, we'll be singing different songs throughout the episode, just you know, make it fun because you know the holidays are coming. Yeah. And I was actually just talking about that, that our, we're slowing down videos because we are going on, on break because it is Christmas time. So we are actually taking a break from doing videos. You're only, we're only releasing, releasing one this week. Our live shows will continue, but yeah. we're taking a break. So this week we just one video on Friday. So go we'll continue. Yeah, oh, right. and the points. I found the points. So yes. it's perfect. So points for a quarter of a cup of graham cracker crumbs, okay, which so is a lot. Okay, so you put a teaspoon on yes. there. Yes, five points for a quarter cup. So I would maybe say one point. So one quarter but, of a cup. I even worry about one it. quarter of a cup is four tablespoons. So, so it's one point then. It's, it's one, point one point. Five. So that whole thing that you could eat. Again, by the time you're point. dividing it, it's not really a point. So what you can possibly do, if you have four, add an extra. If you have four of those little cups, exactly. then add a point. Yeah. yeah. Right? Yeah. Exactly. Perfect. So uh, other than um, the last thing, what we're going to do is just the last little bit of chicken. Um, with the chicken in the in the instant pot, we're almost oh. done. Oh. So I'm going to go get that chicken. And we should do it with us as activity. There you go. <laughs> so, oh my goodness, I want one. I have one. Have one. Let me know if I can do it. Cause you know me with peppers. Mm. Is it good? Mm -hmm. Can I try it? I'll take a bite. Mm. Look at that cheese. Mm. Mm. You need the pepper I have a problem with. I tried it. My you mom's probably watching. My mom's probably watching going, oh my god, he's actually trying it? Oh wow. Are those not like a dollop of that yogurt. 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 How good are these? Oh my gosh. These nachos are like unbelievable. Yummy. I like I do like the selling a lot. Mm -hmm. I do like the selling a lot. Me pepper. But the rest of it is like, I actually don't mind any beans and stuff on there because normally I don't, but actually just good. Oh my gosh, so good. Yum. I actually want another chip too. Why are these legs are so crunchy, eh? And I like mm. the corn taste. Oh my gosh, they're yeah. so good. So I have to just add in. So this week, I am, um, as part of my seven days this week that I did of activity, I did a couple of the Walk 15 mm. in my living room. And I have to tell you guys, 
So I walk 15 certified. Oh, cool. Just saying. <laughs> I walk 15 certified. So one night, I think I should come over and <coughs> while you guys are doing your show, I do can go, I game. Can, like, do a walk 15. That's a cool idea. Mm -hmm. And if you don't know about walk 15, if you remember back years ago, Leslie Sansone, Walk Away the Pounds, it's the same program, it's just been updated a little bit. And when they say walk 15, it doesn't mean you only have to walk for 15 minutes. It just means that if you walk for 15 minutes, you're actually doing a mile in 15 minutes. And uh, it's absolutely fantastic. You can do it anywhere. You can do it in a hotel room. You can do it. All you need is like a little space around you. It's the class we did with Antonetta. Yeah. That's right. Yes, yes. And mm -hmm. if you were on the WW Cruises, it's yep. the classes that you did with Sue so Bergman. So there you go. Exactly. Okay, we're almost um, pulling this, we're taking this out now. Almost, there we go. Okay. I didn't know. So if wow. you guys. These nachos are not good at all. Oh, no, I got one. I got one. I got one. I got an oven that's for you too if you no, want to bring it over. Because I'm just going to show you what I'm going to do. I don't like your nachos. You don't like my nachos? I, don't, I love them. I've been eating the entire uh, tray. Mm. Okay, so here's the chicken that I just took out of the Instant Pot. The chicken? The chicken? And what I'm going to do is I'm going to go into this beautiful drawer and pull out two forks. And you wait till you see this chicken. It just kind of like, it just shreds so easily. Oh, wow. Look at that. It's so tender. I should, I should go down and angle them? Yeah. Wow, look at how quickly that shreds. It's just, it's so tender. It just shreds into pieces. Like, it's amazing how tender it is. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to shred all this chicken. Mm. You can hear, like... It's sizzling. It's sizzling. It's just so... Oh, it's so good. I would say this. The Insta so Pot is a very juicy. cool cooker. Yeah, it is. We use it. We also need to do a recipe with quinoa soon, because we've actually been cooking our quinoa in the mm -hmm. Pot now. Instead of making it, we've been doing the Instant Pot, but we don't follow what the regular cooking recipe for Instant Pot ever? says. Never. Do we ever? And that's because we like certain things made a certain way, and yeah. there's nothing wrong with finding the way you like yeah, to make it. Yeah, it's a little bit. Um, Bev, as far as the, um, Bev just had a question about what's yeah. the best air fryer. The one Mel has here right now, cool. I'm really impressed with it. Yeah. Because it's an oven air fryer. Yeah. Right. And to be honest, we're not experts at this, so no. I wouldn't say I would. So be I'm a, I, I have to say I'm pretty experienced in air fryers. Um, and the thing I you're waving to Sandy Smart. Oh, hi, Sandy Smart. Um, they're all they're all good. They are all good. And, and honestly, don't just buy because of a brand name. No. Yeah. Because those are not necessarily the, the best, best ones. Mm. So the first air fryer I ever bought was um, it's called the Brio. Uh, new wave air fryer and it is the basket type and it's absolutely fantastic and then um, you guys are really hungry aren't you know? okay so this is actually good I'm just telling you right now this is this um, shredded chicken is going right back into the, the chicken taco soup so I'm just going to show you here this is it and this is going in to the soup and we're done I love him. <laughs> Both yeah, elbows. Oh, look at that. Yeah. That's like uh, chunky. I have oven gloves here so we can bring the actual pot. Oh, oven gloves. Yeah. That's a good idea. Uh, we love our T pal too, Kim. Don't get me wrong. We love our T pal, but we love the fact that this can deep fry, but on a level. So you get air going all the way around while the T pal is more cooking it. Yeah. So here is the soup. Voila. 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 So mm -hmm. good. No, it's too good. Mm. I need to get me another soup. Mm -hmm. Soup. Soup. This is so good. So I think this is it, guys. No, we can't forget the dessert. Oh, the oven. Hello. The dessert probably won't be ready. Anymore. No, 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 it's ready. It's ready. Okay. And again, you could cook it longer if you want it longer, right? Now don't forget. All of this is just to your liking. I'm, I'm still eating nacho with fruit. Don't forget with those um apple pie things. Apple pie thing. Oh my god, it's not good. The um, the what you call the um, the phyllo, the phyllo is actually already um, it's already cooked, so it doesn't mm -hmm. matter how long it stays in the oven for. I'm just gonna use my fingers. I hope you guys. How know. dare you? How dare I? <laughs> look how beautiful these look. Those are so cute. 
And if you want, you, want you can even sprinkle a little bit of cinnamon on you want top. Cinnamon on top? I'm okay with it right now. Maybe it's like there, there, is, there is cinnamon in there. Mm. Are those not delicious? Mm. Two of these is one point. Mm. Yum. Mm. Are they not delicious? Mm -hmm. mm. Mm. Uh, I just want the cool whip. Yeah, yeah. Mm. Mm. So that's so that's amazing. That is really yeah. good. Your fridge is open, honey. I love it because they're still the apples are still crunchy, right? Yeah. Mm. Mm. This. Okay, so let's move that and move that, and I think we're like um, we're I need good for another, dinner. Another one, please. So right, that's we're good for dinner. I think we're all done. Ooh, we're ready to eat. Yeah. So oh, just to show you, this is the. Um, okay, I'll do that. Okay, yeah. Do you want to lift that one up? Yeah. That's the uh, one that I made with the gram wafers that doesn't have the phyllo. And or, wait, but you gotta put like a little hello. thing of And your gloves are hiding it, aren't they? No. Mm. Okay. Voila. So good. There you go. So basically, we have a full dinner here. And how many points is the total? So that's zero. For purple and green. Purple, purple and, and blue. Purple, purple and blue. blue zero. Zero. Purple and blue, I would say this is probably two points, mm -hmm. if that, because of the cheese. Those tortilla chips, four tortilla chips are one point, so three would be 12 points. Um, two of these would be one, one point, point. Except for the Cool, cool Whip, which probably has nothing. Well, two, tables, two tablespoons is one point. Yeah, so I guess you're just like nothing hairs. on there. Yeah. 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 So, so hopefully you guys enjoyed this video today, this live mm -hmm. with, with Mel, mm -hmm. with Mel's diner. Um, we'll probably do it again in the future because we, like, having new ideas for recipes, we can't, we come up with stuff too, but it's fun having someone else showcase other recipes. So we love, we'll have Mel yeah. again on with us for other shows too because we know we want to introduce her even more and have her tell her story at some yeah. point too. So Thanks, hopefully you guys, guys enjoyed this and thank you for joining us. Thanks, Thanks for having us. Guys. Thanks for taking over Mel's Diner. And follow me on Mel's Diner, Feed Your Body yeah. and Soul and check out this week on uh -huh. Instagram. Tyson's like, I enjoyed the last 30 seconds. <laughs> Sorry, Tyson. Hi, you can Risa. catch us up later. Yeah. Hey, Risa. Thanks, Risa. By the way, Risa is the one who gave me this recipe. Cool. So I'm giving her all the credit. That's She's awesome. the one who gave me this recipe. That's so awesome. Thanks. So again, thanks for watching. If you guys want to give us a like, you know, that helps us out. Uh, if you enjoyed this live show today, just hit the like button below. You can also subscribe to our channel and hit the subscribe button below. You can hit the bell to be notified. Check out our website, www.gaze.com. And hopefully you will find us on all social media using hashtag www.gaze. So thanks for watching, everyone. Have a great weekend. We're going to eat yes, more. Happy holidays. Happy holidays. Happy holidays. Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas. Happy Hanukkah. Happy Hanukkah. 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 All of the above. All Every, above. Everything yeah. you celebrate. Yeah, just love and happiness to all of you. Bye. Bye, Facebook.